What's Gucci Gamers? It's your boy Hardscore with another cooking swag episode. This is gonna be the crawfish and I got the crabs on deck. So come check out these crabs, you heard me? So I ain't gonna try to get bit off top, but as you see, I got the crab. They fresh in there live. Put them into the water over here. I'm trying not to get bit on camera. Come on, y'all. But as y'all see, I keep, last time I did an episode with the crabs, but this is not even mainly about the crabs right now, you feel me? This is going to be about the crawfish over here that I got. So as you see the crabs, I'm going to let the water run a little bit. But as you see, I got the crawfish. Try to open up the bag early. Never late. Alright. Got so many bags over here. As you see, they are alive. I don't know how many it is over here either. I think uh, I bought 10 pounds this time. And I have, a, I have this is my first time doing these too. And they're going to be some dirty little things too. They dirty because they mud bugs. That's what they call them in New Orleans. Mud bugs. So y'all can peep them all right there. See they on deck. I'm going to kind of wash them off for about 10 minutes or so. Let the water get on them and drip all the dirt off of them. Then after that, I'm going to put some salt on them. You hear me? So... It's your boy Hard School. I'm about to get this ready for that. Then after that, y'all gonna see the season over here, you man. So get back at me. It's your boy Hard School. Gucci! I'm going to fill my pot up to about halfway. That's how I normally do it. Here's about halfway so the crawfish get in there. The whole pot going to wind up turning full. And I got Big Diamond down there. Chilling. All right, chilling like a villain. All right. Look at look all, all my muscles coming out holding this pot. About 100,000 pounds right here. All right, a little bit less. All right, but as you can see how much water I got in there. Got about a little bit halfway. And I'm going to take it over here. To my stove. I'm gonna cut the stove on to high. Now I'm gonna keep it in there. As you see, I'm gonna keep it in there. Now I'm gonna jump over here. You're in into the uh, the season and everything. I'm about to go ahead and break this down for y'all right quick. You hear me? Get a look on, look on. You hear me? I can do a little juggle or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that whipping, but I'm gonna get my uh, my knife. I'm gonna use. Wash my knife off a little bit. As you see, you can look at the crawfish now. They ain't as dirty because I want. That's why they call mud bugs. You wash all the mud off them, and then you know they get clean. And before I cook any of my crawfish, I always go through and look and make sure none dead. And as you can see, you can get an upline. Look at that. Hey boy. Hey boy. Now nah, you gonna get that. But as you see, I come through. I make sure if I get any dead crawfish, I just take them out. You hear me? Before I cook them, I want all mine fresh, like this one right here. That boy, I'm gonna take him out. It's the RIP lounge right here. I'm clean my knife off a little bit, and I'm gonna jump to over here with my cutting board. My cutting board, you hear me? And as you see, I got my bell peppers. Oh, I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got. Y'all looking at? I got my salt. I use some uh, zatarans right here. I use my bell peppers. These are fresh. I just came out the store. You hear me? Got all of them. My lemons. And I normally depends on how much uh, what's the name I put, but um, depends on how many crawfish and crabs I use, I put the lemon count. I just don't add, you know, two lemons or nothing in there. Cut the stick off. You don't want to have no, you know, ball sticker or nothing like that. So you kind of cut them. I cut them into fours. Have some, like, big chunks in there. I'm going to put them in over here. You can do it with the, uh, the pillin on it. It ain't going to hurt nothing. All, it's gonna be all the same by the time. I wanted to do some potatoes this time of year, man, but I ain't get a chance. I'm trying to rush out the store a little bit, man. I don't like being in the store that long. Yeah, I had a whole lot of people gonna get them crawfish, though. I tell you that. There's a whole bunch of them. All right, that's what that. Even though everything gonna be Gucci, I'm gonna wipe this off. Then I'm gonna go with my pepper. My bell peppers. Just kind of cut them. I'm going to get the seeds out of here. As you see, they got seeds in here. I just normally cut them all out. Get my seeds out of there. Get them into little strips, you hear me? And then go to seeds. We're going to be eating seedless. 
Get that out of there. As you see, do it fresh. It's gonna be all swagged up by the time I'm finished. In the next episode, I don't really know. I didn't did about every uh, live. I don't know. I was about to say some live fish. I didn't did everything live, but no, I didn't did crawfish, uh, crabs. I didn't did uh, what crawfish, crabs, shrimp, fish. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I've been saying I was gonna do some swag burgers, so I might do some swag burgers soon and show y'all how I whip it out. Might pull the grill out, you heard me? I ain't no griller, but you know I'm from New Orleans, so anything go do some fire hamburgers and stuff like that. Finish with the bell pepper. I could juggle too a little bit here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a three juggle. Oh, I can't work. That ain't gonna happen. I might try it later. I might go on Google or YouTube and learn some tricks on how to juggle. So when I'm in the kitchen, I can juggle. Alright. I'm gonna use uh, two bell peppers to start it off. I'm about to finish cutting these up, and after this, I'm gonna put the season in the water. I'm gonna show y'all that. Then I'm gonna wait till the water ball. I'm gonna throw the crawfish in there. Crab Daddy swag, all that, you know what I mean? All right, so I'm gonna cut these. I say Crab Daddy swag because that come from Joel's Crab Shack, man. I've been going to Joel's Crab Shack a long time, bro. So that's the Crab Daddy feed. That's how I ain't gonna lie. That's how I start wanting to do the uh, the little episodes and stuff. Going, you know, going to Joel's Crab Shack, spending seventy dollars or something like that on half of what I'm doing right here. So I figured I might as well do my own or something like that. It don't make no sense. So I said, why not? My girl was telling me, you know, my wife was telling me go ahead and just do it at the house. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and keep it Gucci. I'm just gonna cut these up into little slices. Ain't gonna do nothing fine. All right, put these in there. Same with this. And I ain't gonna lie, that garlic and these onions, they gonna make you wanna cry, bruh. Straight up. They gonna make you wanna cry. I like, peep this out. Now see, when I finish doing this and put it into the water, if y'all see some tears coming out my eyes, I ain't crying. It's just the, the onions gonna get you. These things gonna make you cry. Especially, I don't even think the fan up there, you hear me? I don't think it's gonna be strong enough. It's gonna help out to actually stop me from crying. I'm telling you. You ever been, most of the people, um, you know, occasion they know to cook it outside on the, uh, the brawler and stuff like that. You know, it's a big pot out there. It's like a pot like that, but twice the size. They cook it outside so you know it can air out, but I'm doing it inside right now. It's pretty cold outside. It's probably about, Probably snowing. No, I'm joking. Oh, oh I'm about to cry just now. Holy oh, shit. Oh, my eyes got a little tin in, and I ain't even joking. Right. Woo! I'm almost finished. Go a little faster. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not even lying, my eyes about to, about to water. You can't even touch it. All right, then I'm gonna get the uh, garlic. It's gonna be the last thing. I'm gonna put two garlics in there. And then for the garlic, well, I, I guess I guess I did a whole bunch of onions that time. Look at my eye. Look at my eye. You can't even see them, but them joints about to be red. You can see them a little bit. Ooh. Just break these down and get them out the little sack. Put them in there. And I ain't even open the garlic yet. The onion got me tearing up. You hear me? It's all Gucci, baby. All right, as you see, it's over here, you hear me? I got my little setup. Got my lemons, my bell peppers, got my onions, got my garlic. And then this is what I'm about to add right now, so come peep it out, you hear me? Get away from that for a second. See, I ain't got no patience, so I just open it up. No time to try to do all that. So I'm gonna add it probably about to about right there, just for now, because I ain't gonna make it too spicy. I'm gonna make it just right. See? About to about right there for now. Put a little bit more in there. Yeah, about right there. That's about good. About halfway. Cause I'm gonna be using it for the crabs and look, peep it up. I'm gonna be looking for the crabs and the crawfish. Normally I just do like you know separate, but this is gonna be almost the same thing. They both seafood it ain't gonna hurt nothing to add it. Now if I was doing my shrimp and crawfish, I might use different water because it's a different kind of take. So keep it Gucci just like my wallet and the camera because it's Fuji. You heard me? You say good? The water? Everything good? Right, let me see. Let's take it over here for a Paid my little brother five dollars to stick his hand in here and touch one of these joints. So I'm gonna take one of the most aggressive ones. Here we go. 
Why the most aggressive ones? Oh, oh, no. no. Come on, look. Why the most aggressive ones? I'm going to take him. No, Pick he's one. too aggressive. Nah, he ain't too aggressive. Down. Go ahead, shake your hand. No, get a different one. All right, bro, just for you. Yeah, just for you. I don't like that one. All right, let's find another one. Huh, I'm going to get a different crawfish. That one's too aggressive. Too aggressive? He ain't all of them aggressive then. Ready not? Give me a dead one. A dead one? That ain't no deal. It's now you wasting my camera film. All right, I'm gonna get him. He he looks fine. All right. Like that, it's not gonna be right. a big deal. No. Flip him over. I will flip him over for you. There you go. I'll put your hand in the claw. Yes. The claw not open. All right, just put your hand down there. Hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, put your, he's not a crab, he's not gonna just jump. Put your hand in there. I'm trying. It's not doing nothing. Come on, get that five dollars, dude. It's get not five, doing it. Just put your hand down, he's gonna touch you. Touch the other claw, the one that's open. Do it with the other hand, do it with the other, there you go, there you go. Put your hand on there. You can't get the money unless he don't touch you. Dude. What you jumping for? I don't trust crawfish. I don't know if they got mouths. Put your whole hand down there. My whole hand is down there. Pick him up. As a matter of fact, pick him up and put him in your palm. In my palm? Go ahead, <laughs> man. It's five dollars, man. You're wasting fume. There you go. Now put it, put your other hand right there so you can touch it. Yeah, put your, there you go. Happy. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, y'all, that was $5. That wasn't nothing. Now let's do the crab now. Uh -uh. $5 for a crab. $20 for a crab. Get that. $20 for a crab. Okay. <laughs> huh? My finger depends on enough. Alright, that's it, y'all. He won $5. <laughs> that ain't it's Gucci, baby. We back, you hear me? As you see, you can look at the, the, the stuff. Come, come over here. Take a little trip over here. You hear me? The crawfish line. Now, as you see, I got my spice and everything in there. It's looking good. So right now, I ain't made it too spicy, you hear me? So I'm gonna come over here. And the crawfish, like I did, I said, oh, this is the one that bit him. He gonna get. Look, look at him trying to get out. Look at him. Come get a close view on. Watch trying to get out of there. All right, come on. Take you over here. Pull my top off. Sit it on the stool, and I'm gonna kind of pour them in there slowly, you hear me? I wanna make a splash. All right, I'm gonna come back. You hear me? Get some more. I'm gonna kind of speed it up a little bit. All right, I got them all in the pot. I'm just gonna stir them up a little bit. Let them all get in there. As you see, the pot almost full. I told you that water was gonna get to the top a little bit, you hear me? So, I'm gonna let these sit in here for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then after that, as I'm taking them out, I add some more, uh, I add the crabs to it. And then after the crabs, um, I just take them all out at one time. So as I told y'all, this is the crawfish swag right here. You peep them out, they gonna be on point, you hear me? So, Y'all stay tuned in a little while. Peep it out here, me. Coochie! All right, y'all. This is what they look like when they almost finished. As you see how they look, they look juicy, here, man. But I'm gonna keep them in there for about another 10 minutes just to soak. And as y'all can see what they look like, get a little bit closer on them. So you can see what they look like. When they turn like real, real, real red, that mean that, you know, they gonna be done. But I'm gonna let them sit in there for about an extra 10 to five minutes just so the water can soak. And I was gonna do the crabs at the same time, but this is just gonna be the episode for the crawfish. I'm still gonna do the crabs because I got a grub, you feel me? But this is just gonna be the you know crawfish episode and I wanna make it, you know, um, a small episode. I don't wanna make it too big. So this is gonna be the second to last part of the crawfish swag. So once these finish, I'm gonna put the top back on. Once these finish, I'm going to put them over here in my pan. I'm going to have them out. I'm going to show y'all what they look like. So I really enjoy doing these videos. Like I told you, I'm going to be doing like a whole bunch of them. I got to figure out some more swag food I can cook here. I don't really do all that other type of stuff. Spaghetti, you know, raviolis. I can whip up some mean raviolis though, for sure. But like I said, I'm going to just do stick with the crawfish and, you know, all inside food and stuff like that. So it's your bar hard scope. 
This gonna be the second to last step. The next step is gonna be putting them in the pan and showing y'all what they look like. Like I said, this that swag daddy crawfish swag. So I want y'all to keep it Gucci here, man. I say that Gucci stuff a lot, don't I? But yeah, it's all Gucci. Peace. People, it's back to the scene, you hear me? As you see what the crawfish look like when they finish, and as you see they in the pot right here, I'm almost finished, you know, taking them out the pot and putting them over here so they could be time to eat. Now, like I said, these gonna be gravy, baby, once they hit your mouth with that spice. And I ain't put too much spice in them this time. If I did, y'all would have seen that whole jug over there gone. But nah, not this time. I wanna make sure everybody can eat. Cause normally, see me, I make crawfish so spicy, you probably be able to eat five of them. And then that'll be the wrap. You'd be drinking a bottle of water every time you put three crawfish in your mouth. That's how my daddy used to do it. Talking about spicy. You'd be eating four or five crawfish and go right back to the water. You couldn't eat crawfish without the water. Wind up killing yourself. Look at him, compete with him out, you hear me? That's a whole, I ain't know it was that many crawfish. And yes, I do eat the green peppers. That's why I put them in there. I put them in there for the spice off of them. It ain't really no spice, but after, you know, you put them in the water and they get the spice on them, they got a little taste to them. I was gonna add the potatoes, like I said last time, but I still didn't get a chance to add the potatoes. But I want y'all to stay tuned to all these videos I'm doing with the crawfish. I want y'all to support me. That's one more thing I wanted to say. This time me buying all this stuff, it was kind of expensive. The crawfish was probably about, you won't believe it, but the crawfish was probably about $50 and the crabs was like 20 so that's seventy dollars. Then all the seeds and it ran me probably about uh about a hundred and something dollars. So I really would appreciate all the help and stuff y'all do for me on the channel. If y'all could like and comment and just share the video because like I said, it's not even about you know getting money on YouTube. To me, it's just about enjoying myself. But at the same time, while I'm posting the videos, I would like to get something back off of it. Meaning like you know fans like trust me, comments do happen. What I'm trying to say is when y'all comment, y'all tell me good job or do another video, it's motivation. It motivate me to do it again. You know what I'm saying? It really don't matter the views about me because like I said, some of my videos been getting like two, three hundred views. The rest been getting like 20. And it made me stop doing them. Like I said, it was just kind of costly. As you see, they all out the pot and they all right here. Look at all the crawfish. It's a lot of crawfish. Take, take, take a picture. Take a picture. Bow. Never mind. I'm just joking with you. As you see, they all finish over here. I'm take my water and I'm going to add the crabs in there. But it's been your boy Hardscope and I want y'all to enjoy these videos I do. Many of these in there. It's a lot. You hear me? So, y'all keep it Gucci just like my wallet and just like my camera because it's Fuji, baby. Gucci, I'm out. Here you go. It's on. The best crawfish I ever taste. Get it right here. Not joking. It's fire, though.